In this video, we cover the security feature dynamic ORP inspection. We will explain what DAI is and how you can use it to safeguard your network against ARP cache poisoning attack. To send traffic on a local area network, devices need to know the IP and MAC addresses of the destination host. Address Resolution Protocol is a dynamic mechanism used to learn the MAC address associated with an IP address. The destination MAC address is essential for frame encapsulation to forward traffic in a local area network. We can use this diagram as an example to illustrate how address resolution protocol works. Computer A wants to send a packet to computer B, but it does not know its MAC address. To learn the MAC address of computer B, computer A sends a broadcast ARP request to all devices in the same subnet, requesting a response for the IP address 10.0.0.20. Computer B replies with a response that includes both its IP and MAC addresses. Computer A will use the information in the response to encapsulate the frame and send the packet. At the same time, Computer A will cache that information in the ARP table for a specific duration. In summary, Address Resolution Protocol is the dynamic process of learning the MAC address associated with an IP address. It is also used to detect duplicate IP address in the network. The dynamic update of the ARP table can become a subject of some malicious attacks such as ARP cache poisoning. This type of attack is carried out by sending false responses to change the mapping of the IP and MAC addresses in the ARP table. The purpose of ARP poisoning attack is to associate the attacker's MAC address with the IP address of a target host. This enables the attacker to intercept any traffic meant for the destination host. To prevent ARP poisoning attack, GWN switches support the security feature dynamic ARP inspection. When enabled, Dynamic ARP Inspection will intercept and inspect the information in the messages. It will determine the validity of an ARP message based on the IP to MAC address binding stored in the DHCP snooping table. When an interface on the GWN switch receives an ARP message that is not consistent with the information stored in the DHCP snooping table, it will drop it and generate a log. Now let's log into the web interface of a GWN switch to demonstrate how to configure dynamic ARP inspection. Go to the security submenu and click DAI. Before you configure DAI, you must ensure that DHCP snooping is enabled for the desired VLANs. Remember, dynamic ARP inspection depends on the DHCP snooping binding database to validate ARP messages. To learn about DHCP snooping and how to implement it on the GWN switches, please watch the video guide in the link provided in the description below. If dynamic ARP inspection is configured without enabling DHCP snooping, the GWN switch will drop all ARP requests. This is because the switch does not have a database to verify the IP to MAC address binding. So go ahead and enable DHCP snooping for the desired VLANs. With DHCP snooping enabled, always remember to set the interface connecting the router to trust mode. One more thing to note is that the switch will populate the DHCP snooping database using the information in the DHCP messages. Before you enable dynamic ARP inspection, try to trigger the connected devices to send DHCP messages by rebooting the devices. This step is important because if you set up dynamic ARP inspection immediately after enabling DHCP snooping, the switch binding database might not have entries for all the connected devices. After enabling DHCP snooping and rebooting the connected devices to trigger the DHCP handshake, now you can enable and configure dynamic ARP inspection. Toggle this option and include the VLAN numbers for the subnets that will be subject to dynamic ARP inspection. The VLAN numbers that you enter here must already be included in the DHCP snooping. DAI is globally enabled per VLAN, not for each interface. When it is globally enabled, Every ARP message is compared against information in the DHCP snooping database. This safeguards the network from malicious devices that try to spoof the IP or MAC addresses of proper devices. There are some additional security settings that you can enable at the interface level. Select an interface and click Edit. ARP inspection categorizes interfaces in two states, trusted and untrusted. Incoming ARP messages on trusted interfaces are not inspected or validated, while those entering on untrusted interfaces go through ARP validation checks. It is recommended to configure the interfaces connecting DHCP-enabled hosts as untrusted. 
and enable trust mode on only trunk ports and interfaces that connect networking devices such as switches and routers. We can use this diagram as an example. Assuming both switches have RP inspection enabled, the interfaces connecting the IP phones and computers should be set to untrusted, while the interfaces connecting a switch or a router should have trust mode enabled. With this configuration, all RP messages coming from the connected switch will bypass die validation because they have already passed the validation check on the connected switch. Configuring interfaces as untrusted when they should be trusted can cause connection issues in the network. These options perform a validation check on incoming RP messages. They inspect the information in the ARP body message and ensure that it matches the information in the Ethernet frame headers. Source MAC address verification validates the source MAC address in the Ethernet frame against the sender MAC address in the ARP message. If there is a mismatch in the message, the message is determined as invalid and is dropped. This option is used to validate both ARP requests and responses. Destination MAC address verification performs a validation check. By comparing the destination address in the Ethernet header against the target MAC address in the ARP message, this setting applies to ARP responses only. IP address verification inspects ARP messages for the use of improper IP addresses in the sender and target IP address fields. These IP addresses include multicast, broadcast, and all zero IP addresses. Address resolution protocol can also be used to launch denial of service attacks by overloading CPU with excessive messages. To prevent this type of attack, a switch interface can be configured with a rate to limit the number of incoming ARP messages. By default, it is set to zero which means there is no limit setup. When the rate of incoming messages exceeds the configured rate limit, the interface is placed in the error disabled state, which basically means the port is shut down. And the administrator is required to manually restore the interface by going to switching port auto recovery. Under the same page, you can enable auto recovery so that interfaces automatically restore the up status after a duration that is pre-configured using the delay time. The GWN switch also maintains a log of discarded ARP messages. The log messages can be accessed under Maintenance, Diagnostics. You can use the search box to filter and find logs generated by DAI. This concludes today's video guide about dynamic ARP inspection configuration. Stay tuned for more video guides about the GWN networking solutions.